The O'Reilly Factor, the number one cable news show for 14 years running. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in the Unresolved Problem segment tonight, Child Pornography. Because of the net, it's exploding worldwide. Perverts and pictures of children being raped and molested all over the world. If you're caught in the USA with those kinds of pictures, the federal law mandates you get a minimum five years in prison. If you create the child pornography, take the picture, you get a minimum of 15 years. However, states are not bound by federal law. Enter Colorado, already considered to be one of the most libertine states in the union, with legalized pot, awarded down Jessica's law, and child pornography laws that do not require prison time. Recently, this man, 69-year-old Timothy Robinson, convicted of possessing thousands of images, thousands, of children being sexually assaulted. The DA asked for prison time, but Judge Kurt Horton gave him probation and three years in a halfway house. Joining us now from Houston, Nicole DeBoard, former sex crimes prosecutor, and from Atlanta, Dan Conaway, criminal defense attorney. All right, Mr. Conaway, you know, since you handle the uh, perpetrator side of things, it is inexplicable to me that a judge would not put this man in prison. What say you? Well, looking at it from uh, both sides, uh, the judge probably felt that perhaps he was too old or, or perhaps he was too sick or something like that. However, looking at it from the prosecutor's side, there are some strong arguments, and I'm wondering what happened to those arguments, because as a former prosecutor, if I had been the prosecutor in this case, I would have been really jumping up and down with the judge about the fact that these images apparently contained images of child rape the judge and knew other exactly types of child what, torture. No, no, no. The prosecution made its case. He was convicted, and, and the judge knew exactly. For every picture, for every child in a picture, one life is ruined. That child's life is ruined. And this guy had thousands of them, and, and he was sending them out. He wasn't just keeping them in his closet, all right? So he walks. He's now, you know, in a right, half that way would be, house. That would be distribution. That would be distribution. We know, uh, we know that which it was pledged down. Even the federal law. Right. All right. But morally speaking, this judge, I don't know how he can go home and put his head on a pillow. What do you say, Mr. Board? I like it that the judges have discretion about what to do in each individual case. There are circumstances that we don't know about concerning this individual's health and concerning about to the how he got the images. Not according to the prosecutor. It's straight, straight cut down a line. And they didn't even bring in the guy's previous arrest. It wasn't even allowed in. So there's not stuff we don't know about here, according to the prosecutor. Go ahead. Well, there's a complete story, and we don't have the complete story. We don't have the benefit of being in the courtroom and understanding all about the parties involved. And in this case, the judge had that discretion, and this person hasn't gotten away without punishment. He is going to be a convicted oh. sex offender for the rest of his life. Yeah, he's going to be a registered sex offender. I'm sorry. Um, I gotta he's going to be on probation and closely wishy, monitored. i got to reject this with all due respect. We chased down <laughs> judges in Montana, got him thrown off the bench. Chase another guy down in Vermont, these are judges, got him thrown off the bench. Okay? These guys, they don't care. They don't care. We know what happened. This guy's a heinous criminal, this guy, with thousands of images. He should never again see the light of day, ever again. Zero tolerance for this. He doesn't go to a halfway house and order in pizza. I'm, I'm surprised at both of you. This is morally outrageous. This judge I don't think Horton, anyone's saying he, it's not outrageous. Well, then what, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's it's judge's discretion. Not what is this? Go ahead. There's treatment. These people can get treatment, treatment and they can be monitored tightly by the government right. to make sure that they don't have access to the materials right. or to children. Treatment. Okay, good. Uh, Mr. Conaway, last word, go. Um, there's a balancing act here, and that is you don't want one-size-fits-all justice, which is why I'm against mandatory minimums. At the same time, when you get into these large collectors, meaning people that collect tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of child pornography, these people generally do go to prison. And in my personal opinion, when you're a true collector of child pornography, you should do prison time. Yeah, the see, if I were to the judge, judge, this guy never again would get out of prison, ever again. Thank you both. Now, what is world on deck fighting ISIS? What would American college students do? Waters is next.